Well, we all love our pets so much that most of us consider them family, right? I know I do. Considering more than 70% of U.S. households have a pet, sometimes those vet bills can really add up and cause hardships for the few minute family members in charge of those payments. So as your animal advocate, I found out that more adults are turning to insurance plans for their pets so that they can budget and plan what things will cost for their furry roommate. I like the shake. Shake. Thank you. Samuel Salzman and Shadow are brand new best buddies. Yeah. I don't live without dogs, so I went to the Humane Society and I kind of did with my without my roommate's permission. Um, so I brought home a dog and it surprised them and they hated me for a little bit, but then they got used to it. And you can see why this one-year-old puppy is playful, smart, fun, and affectionate. He's very, very friendly. Uh, he likes to be in everything. He likes to be involved with everything. Um, he greets me by giving me a hug every time I see him. And those hugs were reciprocated by way of an insurance plan. This new dog dad wanted to protect his big boy's medical needs. So initially, just the basics were covered, like his puppy vaccines and checkups, but... Then one day we went and he found a mango on the ground and he started eating it. And as I'm trying to get it out of his mouth, he swallowed the pit, he swallowed the whole thing. Cause that's just who he is. He's like, if it's in my mouth, it's mine. I'm not giving it up. And Samuel sure was not going to give up on Shadow either. That insurance plan he paid 60 bucks a month into ended up covering 80% of the cost of a $4,000 unforeseen stomach surgery. Oh, plus the $300 deductible, of course. Give me that ball, buddy. Give me that ball. All right. When it comes to pet insurance, these munchkins are not so different from us humans. In fact, when you lock in those rates as puppies, obviously they'll be more inexpensive than if you wait to pay those premiums when, uh, these guys are seniors. It's like human insurance, but for your pet. Jessica Emanuel works for Spot Insurance, and she has seen the pet coverage space really increase over time. These days, about 45% of owners pay for insurance for their furry family members. Get that coverage. It's so important to have a safety net of coverage in the event of accidents, illnesses, or again, preventative care. Lay down. Whether it's an emergency surgery or a routine visit, the idea is pet parents are banking on the pay in being less than the pay out. It covers accidents, illnesses, behavioral modification, alternative therapies, um, even chronic issues. Saving Shadow after his date with a mango was a much easier pit to swallow with his pet insurance plan in place. I would have put on a credit card and been in debt. <laughs> I, I mean, I would have, I was gonna do the surgery no matter what, but thankfully I had the insurance reinstated. I got very, very lucky. Love that little family there. All right, so guess what? Most pet owners who do not have pet insurance claim the number one reason is because they don't know enough about it. So go ahead and challenge yourself to do a little research for the benefit of you and your dog or cat or whichever pet you have, as there are many different carriers and plans out there. And Julie, I'm looking into this for my little munchkin that I just adopted, but you gotta do it fast because if there's a pre-existing condition, right. then things get a little dicey. Yeah. Well, good, good to know.